So let us see a few questions and answers in operating systems. Explain the concept of re-entrancy. So this is a very useful memory saving technique for multi-program time sharing system. Multi-program means various programs can work together. Time sharing means they are sharing uh, time. So a re-entrant procedure is one in which multiple users can share a single copy of program during the same period. So re-entrancy has two key aspects. First is uh, program code cannot itself uh, modify itself and the local data for each user process must be stored separately. Thus, the permanent part is the code and the temporary part is the pointer back to the calling program and the local variables uh, used by that program. So each execution instance is called an activation. So it executes the code in the permanent part but has its own copy again, in copy of local variables and parameters. The temporary part which we just talked about is uh, associated with each activation, is the activation record. And generally, the activation record is kept on this type. The re entrant procedure can be interrupted and called by an interrupted program and still execute correctly or return to the procedure. Explain the VAD's anomaly. Uh, this is also called as a FIFO anomaly, first and first. Time. Usually, and increasing, uh, if you increase the number of frames, the process which you are What happens? The process execution is faster because fewer page faults occur. Sometimes reverse happens. What is the reverse thing? The execution time increases even when more frames are located with the process, and this is the release anomaly. This is true for certain page patterns. What is binary semaphore? Why it is used? Binary semaphore is one which takes only value 0 and 1. They are used to implement the mutual exclusion part and synchronize current concurrent activity. So this is a synchronization stuff. What is thrashing? It is a phenomena in virtual memory schemes. When the processor, actually we want the processor always to be busy, but the processor spends most of its time subscribing pages rather than doing uh, you know, executing instructions. So this is due to an inordinate number of page files. Now list the Kaufman's condition that lead to deadlock. So there are four Kaufman conditions. First is mutual execution, means only one process may use a critical resource at a time. Hold and wait means the process may be allocated some resources while waiting for the others. Hold and wait. No preemption means no resource can be forcibly removed from a process holding it and then the circular bit means a close chain of process exists that such that each process holds at least one resource given by another process in the chain. These are four common conditions that actually lead to a deadlock. What are short, long, and medium term scheduling? Let us discuss them. Long term scheduling. This determines which programs are admitted to the system for processing. So it controls the degree of multi program. Once admitted, the job becomes a process. So it makes a job to a process. Medium term shift. This is a part of the swapping function. This relates to the process that are in a blocked or suspended state and they are swapped out of real memory until they are ready to execute. So the swapping and decision is based on memory variable criteria. This is the work of medium term shift. Short shift. This is also known as a dispatcher. This dispatcher executes most frequently and makes the finest grade decision of which process should execute next. So a long term scheduler has chosen a job and it has made a process. Now the work of short term scheduler is to make this process actually work. It means this scheduler is involved whenever an event occurs, so it may lead to interruption of one of process the process of What is turnaround time and response time? Turnaround time is the interval between the submission of a job, you just submitted a job and its completion. So submission and completion, the time in between is of turnaround time. While response time is you have submitted S, you have submitted a request. Now the first response has come. First response, the time between these is response time. What are the typical elements of a process image? You have user data, user program, system stack, and PC process. 
user data is a modified part of a user space. It may include program data, user stack area, and programs that may be modified. Then you have user program that is the instruction to be executed. You have system stack that each uh, process has one or more LIFO stacks associated with it. And users to store parameters and calling address to procedure and system calls. Then finally, process control block that is information which is needed by the OS to control the processes. TLP. What is TLP? Translation look aside before. In a cache system, the base address of the last few reference pages is maintained in a register called the TLP. The base address of the last few reference pages. That aids in faster lookup. So TLP contains those page uh, table entries that have just been uh, you know, asked for or recently used. Normally each virtual memory reference causes two physical memory accesses. One to fetch appropriate page table entry want to fetch the desired data. So if we have this TLB or translation leukocyte buffer in V, this is reduced to just one physical memory access in case of a TLB. It, what is the resident set and working set of a process? Resident set is that portion of the process, image or process, that is actually in the real memory at a particular state. Working set while in is the subset of resident set that is actually needed for execution. Now resident set in real memory, but working set they are in real memory, they are resident set, but that is actually needed for execution. What is a system in safe, safe state when you say that a system is in safe state? A set of dispatchable process is in safe state if, if there is at least one temporal order in which all process can be run to completion without resulting in any deadlock. So, no deadlock, no system is in safe state. What is cycle stealing? Cycle stealing. We encounter cycle stealing in the context of DMA, that is direct memory access. So, either this DMA controller can use the database when the CPU does not need it, or it may force the CPU to temporarily suspend the operation. It will ask for it. The latter technique that is suspending the operation of a CPU is called cycle stealing. Uh, we have known that cycle stealing can be done only at specific breakpoints in the instruction cycle. What is meant by R stickiness? If one of uh, more processes have high access rate to uh, data on one track of a storage disk, then they may monopolize the device by repeated requests to that track. This Generally happens with the most common device using a Gordon library for SST, FNCs, etc. So high density multi-surface disks are more likely to be affected by this one than low density. What are the stipulations of C2 level security? C2 level security. C2 level security provides discretionary access control, identification, authentication, authentication, auditing, and resource. What is busy waiting? The repeated execution of a loop of code while waiting for an event to occur. Right? The repeated execution of a loop of code while waiting for an event to occur is called busy waiting. So the CPU is not engaged in any, any productive activity during this period and the process does not progress towards completion. Explain the popular multiprocessor thread scheduling strategies. We have load sharing, GAN scheduling, Dedicated process assignment and dimension. These are the, pop uh, the most popular multiprocessor thread scheduling strategies. So, load sharing. Processors are not assigned to a particular processor. The global queue of thread is maintained. So, you have a global queue, and each processor, when added, selects a thread from this queue. So, you have there are threads. So, whichever processor is uh, free, it selects a thread from the queue. Uh, we have to note that the load balancing refers to a scheme where load work is allocated to a processor or on uh, one or more um, common basis. Gang scheduling. A set of related threads is scheduled to run on a set of processor at the same time on a one to one basis. Closely related threads, processes may be scheduled this way to reduce synchronization logging and minimize some process switching. So, group scheduling related is a strategy. Now we have this uh, dedicated processor assignment. It provides implicit scheduling defined by assignment of uh, threads to process. So for the duration of program, program execution, each program is allocated a set of processor equal to the number of number of threads in the program, and these processors are chosen from the pool, which is uh, a very 
calling. The dynamic scheduling for popular multi-threaded uh, or multi-processor thread scheduling strategies. This is the number of thread in a program can be altered during the course of execution. When does the condition rendezvous occurs or arise? In a message passing, uh, message passing, passing, it is the condition in which both the sender and receiver are blocked between the messages delivered. This is rendezvous condition. What is trap and trap door? Trap door is a secret undocumented entry point in the program used to grant access without normal methods of access authentication. A trap is a software in trap, right? Trap door means you have a software, there are possible entries which has been shown, but there is a one entry which is not been shown, it is there. So people can utilize it to infiltrate. These are trap door, but trap is a different aspect which is a software in trap, which is usually the result of an error. What are local and global page replacements? Local replacement means that an incoming page is bought in only to the relevant uh, process address space, while global replacement policy allows any page frame from any process to be replaced. So the latter is the same part is applicable to variable partition. Define latency, transfer, and seek time with respect to disk I/O. Seek time is the time required to move the disk arm to the required time. Now, the, in the disk, there are different uh, track. Seek time means you have come up to this track. Rotational delay or latency is the time it takes for the uh, beginning of the required sector to reach that. Now, this, this uh, you know, track is divided into different sectors. Different sectors are. So, sector is moved, sector is moved and that comes under the data head. This time is rotational delay or latency. And some of this uh, seek time and latency is the access time. And time taken to actually transfer a span of data is the transfer. Describe the buddy system of memory allocation. A free memory is maintained in a links, link list. Each of uh, equal size. Free memory, this is what we are talking about, body system. So, free memory is maintained in the list. Each of uh, equal size blocks and any such block is of type 2 to the power k. So, when some memory is required by the process, the block size of next higher order is chosen and broken again into 2. We have to note that two such pieces differ in address only in their k threat. Such pieces are called these bodies. And when any uh, used block is free, the worst checks. You see if it is a buddy, it's, if its buddy is also free, the friend is also free. If so, this we join and put it the original free block make list. What is time spam stamping? Time stamping. It is a technique proposed by Lambert. This is used to order events in a distributed system without the use of clocks. This scheme is intended to order events. This is actually ordering. Uh, ordering events consisting of the transmission of messages. So each system I in the network maintains a counter CI, C sub I. So every time a system transmits a mes message, it increments uh, this counter by one and attaches a timestamp PI to the message. And when the message is received, the receiving system J sets its counter to again one, which is more than the maximum of its current value, and the incoming timestamp, which is TI. So at each side, the ordering of messages is determined by the following rules. These are the rules. For messages X from side I to Y from side J, X precedes Y if one of the following conditions holds. That is time I should be less than time J or time A equal to time J or I less than J. This is times. So how are the weight signal operations for monitoring, uh, means more for to monitor different uh, is somewhat different from server 4, this may be asked. If a process in a monitor signal, in the monitor signal, and no task is waiting on the condition variable, the signal is lost. So this allows easier program design. Whereas in server 4, every operation affects the value of server 4. So the weighted signal operation should be perfectly balanced in the so, so monitor in this monitor and server 4 reference in monitor signal. If that process is in a monitor signal and there is no task which is waiting for some condition variable, 
Here the signal, signal is not, but, but, but in this particular case, it's not for it is not lost. It is always corrected by some of the other uh, activities. In the context of memory management, what are placement and replacement algorithms? Placement uh, algorithm determine where uh, in available real memory to load a program. Common methods are first feed, next feed, and best feed. And replacement algorithms are used when memory is full. And one process needs to be swept out to accommodate a new program. So the replacement algorithm determines which are the portions, partitions to be swept out. In loading programs into memory, what is the difference between load time dynamic linking and runtime dynamic linking? Load time dynamic Load module to be loaded is read into memory first of all and any reference to target extent modules causes that module to be loaded and the differences are related to the relative address from the start base address of the application module. What is runtime dynamic loading? Some of the linking is postponed until actual reference during the description. Thus, the current module is loaded and linked in. What are demand paging and pre-paging? With demand paging, a page is bought into memory only when a location of that page is actually referenced during the description. And the pre-paging, pages other than one demanded by a page for are bought. Right? If you demand, they will come. If you don't demand, then pages, uh, spaces are there, page can come. This is pre-paging. So the selection of such pages is done based on the common access pattern, especially for secondary devices. Paging a memory management function while multi-programming a processor management function. Uh, are they too interdependent? Yes. What is page cannibalizing? Page swapping or page replacement, they are also known as page cannibalizing. What has triggered the need of multitasking in PCs? Increased fees, memory capacity of microprocessor, together with the support for virtual memory and also the growth of clients the current server. What is SMP? To achieve maximum efficiency and reliability, efficiency and reliability, a mode of operation known as symmetric multiprocessing is used, SMP. So it says with uh, SMP, any process or thread can be assigned to any process. List some reasons for process termination. You know, if there are various, normally completed, time unit exceeded, a memory is not available, or bonding, some violation of bond, bonds are there, some protection error is there, some uh, arithmetic error, or, you know, time overload is there, input output failure happens. Some instruction is invalid, there are some privilege instruction, and we have some uh, record of data mis misuse or uh, some OS inter uh, intervention and pair intervention. What are the reasons for process suspension? Swapping, interactive user uh, request, timing, parent process request. These are the of suspension. What is process migration? This is the transfer of sufficient amount of the state of process from one machine to what is an idle thread? A special thread or a dispatcher will execute when no ready thread is found. So idle thread. So what are the possible threads a thread can have? It should be a state. You know, ready, standby, running, waiting, transition, delivery, all these other states of threads. So these are some uh, you know, high-level database questions. Thank you so much. Take care.